Discovery can get messy. We've been talking a lot about insects, but I haven't yet mentioned the most loved and well-known group. I'm speaking, of course, about the insects in order Lepidoptera, the moths and butterflies. People love these insects because they're so pretty and because they're great pollinators for plants. All Lepidopterans have big, colorful wings covered in tiny scales that are slippery. This makes it easier for them to fly. The scales on the wings are why we say you should be very careful when handling butterflies. If you rub off too many scales, the butterfly won't be able to fly away. A butterfly also has a long siphoning mouth part called a proboscis for sipping nectar from flowers. You might also see Lepidopterans using their proboscis to puddle, drinking water, salts, and proteins from mud puddles, scat, or carrion. But how do you know if the insect you're looking at is a moth or a butterfly? Butterflies are usually bigger and more colorful than moths, and they hold their wings folded straight up over their backs. Moths are often smaller and duller colors. Many moths fold their wings down over their bodies like this. Butterfly antennae are thin, smooth, and have little knobs at the tips, while moth antennae are thick and fuzzy. We also know that Lepidopterans go through complete metamorphosis, so we should be able to tell their caterpillars and pupae apart too. Butterfly caterpillars and adults have mostly smooth bodies with relatively few hairs. Moth caterpillars and adults, on the other hand, are very fuzzy. A butterfly pupa, called a chrysalis, is smooth and round, but a moth pupa, called a cocoon, can be any shape, and they're often rough or fuzzy on the outside. Their behaviors are also different. Butterflies are awake during the day, and moths are active at night. To catch a Lepidopteran, you'll want to use your homemade net. Then, put it into the freezer as quickly as possible so it doesn't damage its wings inside the jar. Pinning a butterfly is a little different from pinning your other insects. I carved a well in this piece of styrofoam, but you could also make or buy a spreading board made out of wood. This is called a spreading board because we'll use it to spread out the butterfly's wings. Carefully, without bending or ripping the wings, open them up as much as you can. Use a strip of paper and some pins to stretch the wings out on the board with the insect's body sitting in the well in the middle. Try not to put the pins through the wings. Leave the butterfly like that for a few hours until the wings have relaxed into position. If you need to, you can readjust the wings and pin them farther open. Once the wings are spread open, pin the butterfly and the labels like normal. I can't think of a better reason to go outside and get messy than frolicking in a field of flowers with some butterflies. Don't forget to post all of your entomology-related questions in the comment section below or on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing, and sharing, and I'll see you next week.